Yes, it's Beat the Clock. Come on and join the action in Race Against Time with guest star Robert Moore. Now, here's your host on Beat the Clock, Jack Nye. Thanks, Gene. Oh, you're something else, friend. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Beat the Clock. In a few moments, we're going to bring out our guest star, great guy, Bobby Morse. You're going to have a ball with him again today. Right now, we have some single couples to meet. Gene, who are the first, please? Our first couple is Ron Cole and Susan Tolhurst. Susan Tolhurst. How are you, Susan? Fine, thank you. Yourself? I'm just very nice. Thank good. you. Very kind of you to ask. You're not uptight or anything, are you? No. All right, very good. Let's see how Ron's holding up. Hi, Ron. How do you do? Big fella. How tall are you? Six four. <laughs> That's big. You folks known each other very long, Ron? On and off for eight years. On and off for eight, eight years. years. I see. Are you dating now? Yep. All right. It's nice of you to spend this time with us. We would right now um, like to have you, Ron, escort lovely Susan over to the bench, have a seat, and wait for your call to try to beat the clock as we beat another couple. And Gene, who are they? Our second couple is Bud Hanson and Alana Fairhurst. And this is Alana Fairhurst, yes. and you are dating another tall one over here, huh? Yep. This is Bud Hanson, huh? Hi, Bud, how are you? How, you do? how tall are you? 6'2". <laughs> Boy, you could... Bob, <laughs> well, what are you going to do? Two of us, you know, little pine trees among redwoods. What are you going to do? Uh, Bud and Alana, uh, we're going to put you to work, as you know, first against the clock and hope that you beat it and win some money. If you'll come over here with me, I'll tell you what we want you to do. We're going to put some bowling pins on this little platform that's on the top of the stool. And, Bud, we want you to knock one of these bowling pins off into this basket, okay? Now, honey, your job will be to stand over here near Gail, and if the bowling pin should uh, be dislodged from the platform and not go in the basket, take a fresh one out of the basket and put it back up there, okay? Give you a chance to do it so you know how it feels. And Bud, here's how you knock them over. Want to stand over here on the mat facing the table? Now, Beatrix will stand next to you. She has a basket of Frisbees. You sail them across, hit the bowling pin, the pin goes in the basket, and here's how much time you have to do it. 60 seconds. Let me do this. Get out of your way there, B. Okay, get one in the basket for us. 60 seconds and go. It is helps to hit the pin. How do you like your part, Alana? <laughs> oh, hit it at least. Has to go in the basket. Has to go in the basket. Oh, you're just happy he hit one. Well, you tried very hard, bud, I'll say that. Not my vocation. No, I can say the session, Jed. You know what? I had a feeling when I met Bud. You know, he has a big athletic build. I have. He's probably going to do it on the first or second try. I don't know how many you threw for you finally hit the bowling pin. 50 at least. 50 at least. Okay, friends, let's bring out our guest star now. Put him to work. Say hello to Mr. Bobby Moore. Bobby. I had a great night, night's rest in that wonderful hotel you put me in. Oh. I, it was the longest night's sleep I've ever had. Well, you know, I thought that perhaps you'd overslept because... What was because the name of that hotel? I don't know. Uh, the, it was a, actually, it was the, the Motel. Plaza? No. No? I don't know where they put me. No, we somewhere. can't afford that. I, I don't know what it was. It's, it's the, lovely. The Notel Motel. It was very it. nice. And I, I called home. <laughs> well, you did? <laughs> yes. How did the girls like the show? I had to pay for the call. Oh, of course. Sure. <laughs> and the Listen, operator, incidentally, the operator I said, that... you have to beat the clock. You got one minute, you know? <laughs> and we I are... said hello to Andrea. Yeah, Robin, 
and <laughs> Hillary. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And I hate to bring this up, but we also uh, received notice this morning that you had a cheese sandwich in your room last night that's going to cost you 35 cents. Oh, that's right, I did. But I didn't have the mustard or anything like that. Just plain Still cheese. Still 35 cents. I'm working on my diet, and I, <laughs> that's all I had for supper. Bob, let's get over to the guests here and say hello to them, what shall we? What a sleep I have. <laughs> this is Bud Hansen. Bud, how This are is you? the fair Elena Fairhurst. Hi, Elena. That's Susan Tolhurst. S Susan. Yeah, Bye. and that's Ron Cole. Ron, nice to see you. And Susan and uh, Bobby. Don't, before you sit down, Bob. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Just one pass over the field, huh? Let's come up here to the platform where you and Susan are going to do this here now stunt. This is very good. Girls are going to bring out a board, and I'd like for you to take the ends as they are holding it. This is a little bit heavy, so get a nice, firm grip on it. Okay. Now, I'm going to put a couple of these uh, milkshake cups where I want them to finish on this board. Somewhere inside, uh, you know, if it's touching the line, I don't care. So long as both of them are inside the yellow lines to beat the clock. Now, the clock will tell us how much time you have to get them between the lines. 60 seconds, and here is where they start. Oh, for goodness sakes. Oh, that's impossible. <laughs> It is not, and you're going to prove it right now. Ready? Go. Just tilt it back. Go first. Easy, easy, easy. Let me get a little more. Easy by slow. Too much time. Yeah. 45 seconds. Oh, this is cake. Okay. Now, let's get this. Thanks very much, Bob. That's a very difficult stunt. No, sir. No way is that easy. Yeah. <laughs> Ron, come on over here. Join your Susan and put your heads together and pick out a letter for me. Let's see how much you win. Good luck. The Ellen Clock. Ellen Clock. Okay. Here it is. And it sails. <laughs> Two hundred big ones. Good luck for them, huh? How about that? Tell you what, friends, we're going to take a very brief time out, after which we'll return with Bobby Morse and more Big Club. Bud and Alana, in a few seconds, we're going to give you another stunt. Which you will do and win some cash this time. Meantime, we have gifts for you. Gene will tell you about it. Gene, what do we have for the kids? A pair of heart spoilers, the fiberglass alloy ski that's perfect for beginners, great for recreational skiers. Heart spoilers and a Fashion 220 glamour case filled with individualized moisturizing cosmetics, including cleansing cream, magic stick, liquid makeup, rouge, and lipstick, all by Fashion 220. Okay, Jack. Thank you, Gene. All right, Alana, Bud, come with me, please. Uh, first of all, we'll point out to you, on this table we have four paper bags of uh, graduating sizes. A large one, not quite as large. This, as you can see, will nest inside this bag, like so. This one will go inside that one. And finally, this one over here will go in the last one. And that's what we want you to do, nest the four bags, like so, to beat the clock. As we take a look at the clock to see how much time they have to do this, I will tell you that we want you to stack these bags one at a time on that table down there, starting with you, Alana. You take the first one down. Then, Bud, you take the second one down. Uh, 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 uh. You take the second one down, put it inside, and, honey, you get this one, Bud, finally that one. But you're not going to use your hands at all. In 55 seconds, when all four nested, and here's how you pick them up and carry them down. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Okay. Piece of cake, right, Bobby? Okay, honey, you start with this one. Bud, you go with that one. Ready? And go. Pick it up, carry it down. Bud, why don't you start on this one? I got a bullet for you. This sounds easier than it actually is. Atta girl. That one. 
No hands, no hands, bud. All right, you got all four of them next to you. Now you have to get, it's kind of hard to see when your eyes are in a bag. Ooh, ah, ah, no hands, honey, get it with your chin. Get it with your chin. No hands, baby. That's it. That a girl. All right, got it? Now stand up. That's it. Get around the side. That a girl. Lift it a little bit. Lift it. Very well, you did. Beat the clock that time. All right, it's your turn to choose a letter. Good luck. Last C in clock. Last C in clock, he says with much authority. And the last C in clock says that you had $50. Thank you. Uh, Bobby, I'm going to have you, if you would, please join me over here at the podium. And uh, Gail, yeah, we have a stool for Bob. Why don't you sit down back here, if you would. <coughs> And uh, it's gonna be kind of interesting, I think. Gotta put those up there for you. We're going to show you, kids, and Bob, the same card at the same time, right? There are only two letters on it. Then I'm going to ask Bob to write in a third letter to give me a three-letter word. Then I'm gonna go down the line and give each of you a chance to come up with a letter and a three-letter word. And if your word matches his, it's worth $25, okay? You know Simple. what I'm talking about? Here's a little yes. pen for you. Now, the first, wait for you to it, Bob. I'm gonna show them this and put it up here so that they cannot see your hand as he adds a word. And let's see if you guys can guess what it is. You may change words or use the same one. If somebody chooses one, it's okay for uh, anybody else, right? Ready? Ready? Let's start right here with, with Bud. Uh, give me a... No, no, don't you I'm show not going to show. Oh, okay. I promise I okay. won't. A T. A T for lot. What would you like to say, Emma? W. W for low. And Susan? W for low. W. W for low. And he had G for law. G for law. Okay. Let's go to the next I, one. I'm winning, huh? In just a second. <laughs> just a second. I'll show the kids. It's R A. Now, let's see you choose. Go ahead. Okay, let's start with Bud. I'll take a G. You'll take a G for rag, huh? And Alana? N. Pardon? N. N, ran. T. T for rat. G. And G for rag. Susan is right. T for rat. Okay, here's the next one. Wait, Bob, till I show it to them and also get it up here so they can't see you. And it's P.E. Now, oh, let's, uh, as soon as he finishes, I'll give you guys a chance. Bud, go ahead. W? W for pew. Okay, that's all right. Alana? N. N for pen. G. Pardon? G. For peg. T. T for pet. Ron is right. It's pet. $50 for that team down there. Nothing for this team up here. This time we go with the letters D, I. Now, as soon as uh, Bobby has finished putting down a letter, we'll give you a chance. Okay, bud, uh, go. G for dig. D, or G, G for, dig. for dig. All right. How about you? You can, and I, I repeat, you know, you guys go the same word, change, whatever, it makes no difference. D. D for did. G. G for dig. D. D for did. Two dids, two digs, and it was dig that time. Ah, so. <laughs> there we are with S. Oh, never mind. I, you, I got the heck off. Knock it off, you son of a gun. <laughs> okay, let's start with butt. Do we have a glass of water? D is sod. D is in sod. Uh, D. Got a glass of water for Bobby. Pardon? Mm -hmm. D? D? Sod? Okay. Yeah. Susan? D. Pardon? D. I can't hear you. The same. D? Okay. D. And D. 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 What do you have to do around here? <laughs> 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 
How many of you knew? How many of you knew? Raise your hand. <laughs> one of my friends in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go with another one. This is CU. Something I never do. <laughs> never. <laughs> okay, well, let's start with uh, what? Oh, that's up. Can I change it? Oh, can I change it? It's too tough. I think I gave him something that's too tough. All right. I mean, I really think I did. Right, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, this is what I would do. Well, I, I'll write it right here. Keep on going. I know what I'm doing. Now, wait a minute. That's what I do. All right, C U. P as in cup. P as in cup. Same. P. Same. Cup. T, T. for cut. And uh, P. P for cup. One right. Cut. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. I have that. I, that's why I let him change it. This is a term that's used in uh, radio and television, like you throw a person a cue. Which and, I never do. Yeah. So that's why I let him change that one. Okay? Thank you very much, Bob. Okay. That was kind of fun. All right, now, Bob, that's, that's not the gift we have for you. Oh, we have, we have another type of gift. Yeah, Gene will tell you about it. Gene, what do we have, please? Tell me what the gift is. A lively selection of St. Mary's, ultra-smooth percale sheets and pillowcases in a terrific new pattern, Zap Daisy. Beautiful gay colors for the bedroom. Okay, Jack. <laughs> oh, I've always wanted... Terrific. We'll be back in a little while, maybe. It all depends. I don't know. Ron and Susan will have another go at the clock in just a few seconds right now. Gifts for them, and Jean will tell you about them. Please, Jean. A beautiful three-carat Lindy simulated diamond made by Union Carbide, set in 14-carat gold and backed by the Lindy simulated diamond guarantee. And a chic electronic hot lather dispenser for luxurious barbershop shaving, complete with a year's supply of two dozen chronochrome double-edged blades from Chic. Go, Jack. All righty. Ron and Susan, if you please. Come with me. Uh, for the explanation of this stunt, I'm going to have the two of you stand here next to me. However, in the execution of the stunt, Susan, you're going to be standing here, and Ron will be here. And we have paint brushes for each of you. You will use your right hand, dear. Ron will use his left hand. Ron, we want you, using your left hand, to paint some hair on this face, okay? Susan, with this brush, we want you to put on eyebrows and a mustache, okay? Now, let's see how much time they have to do this for us, first of all. You have 50 seconds. And the reason I was being so very explicit about um, these instructions is because you're going to be blindfolded and be holding each other's hand. That's why you can only use your right hand, and that's why you can only use your left hand. So, honey, if you will stand over here, just a second, Ron, if you'll come here, we want you to put these gloves on so that we won't get paint all over you. And we're going to have to take your glasses off, Ron, because of the blindfold, you understand, I'm sure. So if you'll put the gloves on. Uh, let's put the blindfold on, on Ron. Do you have one for him, B? Very good. All right, now I'll move you over here next to Susan. All right, now you can go ahead and blindfold Susan, please. Let's get it snugly in place and... Come on, here, let's just stand here for a second, honey. Remember now. Now, let me hand you the brush, first of all. Feel it? Now, I'm going to tell you, that's it, join hands. Now, the, the dish is right here with the paint and the faces up here. I'll kind of help guide it for you in just a few seconds. Now, Ron, could you move over here just a little, little bit like this? That's fine. Okay, now, your part, remember, darling, is eyebrows and a mustache. Yeah, fine, okay. All right, now, got a hold of it. Here's the paint. Feel it? Okay, that's good. All right, now, and I'll try to help you guide it. It's right about in this area. Okay, and go. We want a little higher for the, a little higher for eyebrows. That's good. Good for the left one and one over there. Hey, that's, that's not bad, but you better get a little more paint, honey. Reach down and try to concentrate on the mustache for us this time. Try to work on the mustache for us. That's a little, little lower, lower, and reach out and to your left. Draw it across now. Hey, that's a beautiful mustache. And stop the clock. That's marvelous. 
You can take off your blindfold now. And look at the face. <laughs> You wipe them off. <laughs> okay. Does it? Come on over, Ron. I'll tell you, actually, that's uh, pure, pure, pure paint. It's the paint they make for little kids to use, so it's non toxic, non allergic, and non everything. We'll wipe him off and bring him out here. Ron, come on over here and join Susan and take a run at the uh, cash board. You got the 200 already earlier. Let's see what you get this time. What do you want? Good luck. H and T. The H and T. <laughs> She's shaking like a leaf when she found out it was Ron that she painted. <laughs> the H and the. The H and the. All right, honey, we're going to do it for you. And it says $25. Thank you so much. Great job. OK, friends, we'll be right back with our contestants. Here we go with the old knock the bowling pin in the box thing. Give each of you four tries. Ready, sir? Go. One. Two. Almost went in. Three. And here comes the fourth one. How about that? Got it. Thank you. Okay, four for you, sir. Whenever you're ready. And go. One. to laugh, cheer, and jump for joy because the greatest game shows of all time are coming your way on Game Show Network's Prime Games. Now, not only can you play along, you can win. What a show. That's right. Watch game show classics like Match Game, Family Feud, and Password. Name a famous Willie. Willie the Pooh? Get in on the game every night on Game Show Network's Prime Games beginning at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 Pacific, where you can watch, play, and win. Six couples face off for a prize chosen especially for them. Don't miss the newlywed game later. But first, what will they say next? Tune in and find out with Bill Cullen and Child's Play. <laughs> we uh, are going to total up the cash winnings now. Bud and Alana, you're going to take home $75 for your effort today, plus your gifts. Down here, Ron and Susan, our famous artist, $325. <laughs> It's now clear to board time. Oh, oh looky here. There it is. No roll. Oh, look at that. Okay, there's a whole board review for you. Once again, many thanks to our special guest, Mr. Bobby Morris. Bob, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. We hope you'll join us then, too. I hope one of these times real soon, however, it'll be your turn to beat the clock. Bye-bye, everybody. Yeah. Promotional fees paid by Pontiac, the new small white track of Ventura 2 with Pontiac design integrity, which means beautiful. It's tough, quick to service, and built to last. Prizes, products, and services mentioned were provided and or paid for by the manufacturers. This has been a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production. Tonight at 7 Eastern, join Peter Tamarkin for Prime Games. It's a whole new way to watch, play, and win fabulous prizes. Prime Games, only on Game Show Network. This is Gene Wood.